Are you ever on TikTok or Instagram and you see a post or an ad for a product and you're like, I wanna buy that, but it's probably bad. And then you scroll past and are forever left wondering what could have been. Well, wonder no more, because today I'm gonna be putting those things to the test. Over the last few weeks, I've ordered a bunch of cooking products that I saw advertised on TikTok to see whether they're worth your time and more importantly, your hard earned money or your stimulus checks. So first up we have the zip slicer. So the idea here is that you fill up this tube with cherry tomatoes or grapes, and then you take this and you just and it slices all of those in half. Seems fun. Pretty simple concept, but I think we have to see if it works. Let's load this bad boy up. And then I just take this. Do you just dump them out? Okay. Then you're left with a nicely sliced pile of cherry tomatoes. Let me try grapes this time. Zip zap soup. Yeah, that worked well. This is definitely a little bit faster and it may be a little bit safer if you're wary of using a knife and it's kind of just fun to use. So I mean, if you're chopping up a lot of cherry tomatoes or grapes and you like things like this, then yeah, I'd say this one for 13 bucks, not a bad buy. So next up we have the Hutzler Banana Slicer. This seems like a joke. A few years ago, I bought a friend a carrot sharpener as a gag gift, and this seems to be in the same product category as that. Supposedly, it makes it easier to cut your bananas, which isn't something I was having trouble with before, but I, I guess this would make it a little faster. Who has a banana this large? Apparently my local grocery store has bananas this large. Guess it's time to test this. Peel your bananas from the bottom. That's what the monkeys do. It's faster. Hope it works. <laughs> It does what it says. It cuts the banana. And while it is definitely faster than doing this with a knife, you can't control the width of the slices. And with all these grooves in here, it's gonna make it a little harder to clean. If I'm being honest, this thing is only $7. And if you love slicing bananas or you wanna get it as a gag gift, then maybe it's for you. But personally, I don't think I would use this. But I definitely am gonna be putting it in someone's stocking next year. Or maybe as an ornament on their tree, who knows. So the next two things I'm gonna try are very not safe for vampires. So if you're a vampire, don't buy these. Other people though, uh, specifically those who love garlic, which should be all people because garlic is a key component of garlic bread and garlic bread is the perfect food. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. First up, we have a garlic peeler. And if it works like it says it should, this might be a godsend because the worst part of dealing with garlic is peeling it. Even if you smash it with a knife, you still have to pull off the peels and your hands get sticky. And if this does what it says, I'll be a very happy man. Do I choose red or blue? I'm gonna take some garlic cloves, pop them in here. Oh my God. What? That worked so well. It perfectly peeled the garlic and left these super clean cloves without any residue. This is impressive. So this next tool takes the other most annoying thing about garlic out of the equation. It is the Garlic Zoom Garlic Chopper. Supposedly, this tool makes it easy to chop a bunch of garlic up really fast. Open it up at the top, fill it with peeled garlic cloves, roll it back and forth. Well, damn, that worked. If you don't like chopping garlic because it gets your hands sticky and it makes your hands smell like garlic, this worked really well. And this guy's so cute. He's like a little Star Wars droid. I'm gonna call him GG8. Garlic, garlic eight. George Lucas, call me. Thumbs up, I would get this one. Last, but far from least, we got a smart toaster. <laughs> This is the Revolution Toaster from Revolution Cooking. It's a smart toaster. It has a six inch touchscreen on the front where you select what you're toasting and how dark you want it to be. And then it toasts it. I'm actually very excited for this. It's so shiny. Okay, bread. It's fresh bread, popping it in there. Let's say a uh, medium lightness start. It sucks it down in! And it has a little countdown timer on it. I've never been excited to watch a toaster before. Four, three, two, one. Oh! 
Oh, wow. Perfectly toasted, I must say. Mmm. That certainly is a piece of toast. Let's try really dark bread. Start. Hmm. I'm never gonna get over it sucking down the bread like that. I know a toaster doesn't need a screen, but I cannot help but be in awe of this. I feel like I'm living in a very mundane future. It does take the guesswork out of toasting, and as far as toasters go, this is probably like the best toaster you're gonna get. Do I need a smart toaster? No, but am I gonna use this every single day? Absolutely. <laughs> ooh, ooh, very dark. Once again, exactly as I requested. So yeah, you can get a lot of weird stuff on the internet, but it is interesting to see that a lot of these are actually worth their while and do exactly as they say they do. Whether what they say they do is worth it to you, uh, that's a personal thing. I have to say my favorite thing I tried out today though was actually the garlic peeler. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna use the toaster more frequently than anything, but this garlic peeler was super handy. Let me know if you tried or if you get any of these things down in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you think of them. And if there are any gadgets you see on TikTok or Instagram, feel free to send them my way. I will gladly take a peek and maybe check them out in another video. But for now, I've got some more toast to eat. Thank you.